We're not doing anything, officer. Ugh. Ugh. Poop patrol. Look, his face stays in the same place. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we are cool. Alright, um, you wanna do a couple more games? Yeah, I wanna try Mag Mag Max. Oh, this is. <gasps> well, this looks good. It is not doing well for my TV, though. I don't know if that's my TV or if that's the output. Get him! This is pretty nice. What would you call this? This isn't really. Is this isometric? Yeah. It's ish. like isometric scroller. Look, Mortal Kombat 4, but with a C. <gasps> okay, we're getting repeats here, hard. Definitely. Wait! Yeah. Is that the same list? <laughs> Except for the bottom one. Oh my goodness. That's wonky. Look at these. What? This is inappropriate. I want my money back. Yeah, why should you get a refund on this? Uh, let's play one more game and then we'll call it. One more game? Yeah. This is Bugs War. Two player. Really? You think? <laughs> Can we try Mario 10 and 14 too? Yes. Is this Minesweeper? Oh, it's showing us where the bugs went. Oh, we're killing bugs. I planted a potato. <gasps> I killed a scorpion. Yay! No, I turned him half blue. Oh. Oh, he's a threefer. Mario 10, here we Kung go. Kung Fu Mari! Kung Fu Mari. Oh my oh goodness. My. Will, what is happening? This looks incredible. This is the most, like, Brooklyn Italian I've ever seen Mario. Look at him. Look at that reach. Ooh. Yeah, he, like, follows through. This is not Mario. Is that out of his groin? Better watch out. Mario gonna beat you up. Okay, I've gotten the gist of this. <gasps> what do you think that sign said? What? Somebody was very proud of this knockoff. Don't hit him in the eye. That's just a message. Why does it look like Greninja? Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just Mario's face. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it does look like a Mario. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. This is awesome. We should, how many viewers do you think we would get if we did a stream called Super Mario 14? Probably a lot. We can probably get it. This is like a mix of two and... Ninja Gaiden, maybe? Whoa! What was that? Is that a wall jump? Oh, I can't stop them. Oh, I, I feel like it's wrong. Oh, I'm answer. smacking off the side of the wall. Oof, that's bonkers. Well, they just fall off. Oh, watch. That's, I I think I feel like they should have kept the stomp in there. Yeah, that's the one thing I would have kept. This is really cool. I, I keep, like, I keep no, thinking I know. I can stomp. I know. I like this Mega Man health bar though. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, I thought that was his respawn. Animation. I thought it was too. That would have been so dope. God. All right, Will, so that was the mini game anniversary edition entertainment system built in 620 classic games. What did you think? I thought 610 of them were good. Honestly, I got a lot more enjoyment out of it than I thought I would. Yeah, Mario 12, who knew? Mario 12, who knew? So good, um, but I do think we should take this apart. We should take the NES classic apart, the real one, put them side by side, see what's going on in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's up everyone, here we are taking apart the good old mini game anniversary edition entertainment system built in 620 classic games. 
and this box, this box, this, and this box is empty. Where? Yeah, give it to me. Come on. Here you go. I got it for you. Thank you. Here we are. Look at it, everybody. We've got power. We've got plock reset. I can read. Wait, does it say plock or no, reset? No, it says reset. It just <laughs> the shadow made the R look like an F. Uh, AV out, DC in. So we're thinking. That's wait. That's almost identical to this. Oh right. Thank you, Ian, my trusty sidekick. They are very. I, I'm trying to decide. Are these these are pretty close to original pins? Yeah, that's that's eerily similar. Look at that. Let's take this one apart. Then we'll take this one apart. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So okay. let me take this out of the way. Okay, we ready, everybody? Yeah. Wow, there's wow. nothing in it. There's nothing in it. How does it work? That's incredible. What? Okay, wow. here we go. Ian has that. <laughs> it's so tiny. That is very, very tiny. Oh. Uh, so this must be, this looks like it has the two buttons on it. Yeah. And then the controller port. So it's just a different board so they don't have to extend the board all the way through and do a 90 degree on it. Um, and then there's just a ribbon, but look at this ribbon is soldered. Yeah. And it's a thick ribbon. That doesn't feel look at like, that. that's that not glue job. I know, th this is like, feel that ribbon. Oof. Yeah, so that's, that's it right there. Oh, so we're just out, you know? Oh, those, and those are the buttons. Yeah, th even the buttons are, this plastic, it's like no. cheap PLA. Yeah. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, get that away from me. Reset, power, LED one, joy one, joy two. So there are some numbers on the board. Maybe able to punch in on that. It looks like there's two chips, the USB port. Power. Wow, this is pretty bonkers. Oh, I'm, no, not, not power, what is that? Video. That's, that's video, video out. Because there's not an HDMI out, it's a 3.5 millimeter to composite. Classic. So I think we pop the other one open. Yeah, let's pop the uh, NES let's pop it. Classic open. Ian, NES Classic, give it to me. This, there it is. That's the real one, not this the fake one. Are you sure? Yes. Oh yeah. Mostly because of the uh, Wii Remote Classic Controller proprietary connector. It's crazy that they have the same, like do they have a, do they get the molds? They, I don't think they got the molds. I think they just bought one and duplicated the design as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna feel bad about this, but I have to take these off. Do it. I did notice that that has trademark stamps on the bottom of it. Yeah, the other one does not. No, it has the box for it. Here, I'll just show that real quick. Yeah, show that. So you see it has the punch out for the trademark, but it doesn't actually have the trademark. So we can flip this around and show. I don't think I'm gonna get in there with this one. Oh. You got a skinny boy? I do have a skinny boy. Are these, they're Phillips. Let me get you the skinny boy. Okay, well, it took me a little bit, but I think I have a tiny oh screwdriver gosh, for you. That is very tiny. Yep. Very tiny. Okay, here we go. Good? Oh, it feels so good. That sounds, sounds good. Get out of here. You know what, I'll do this one. Perfect. Let's be satisfying. So before we open this up, what do you think the differences are gonna be? I think this is going to be filled with love and happiness. No, I think it's just gonna be more, it could be the same looking, mm -hmm. but I think it'll be more together, well put together. Yeah, more well put, better solder joints. Yeah, better quality. Better cable. It does feel a lot heavier. Here we go, three, two, one. That's Whoa, incredible. that's it's, crazy. It's actually more empty than the other one. Wow, wow, that is a lot more. That's a lot more than I thought. What do you think? Protective? 
A gas. A heat sink? Well, actually, it may be a heat sink if that's on the chip. Yeah. I was not expecting that. That is. And see that it's got multiple cables. Much nicer ribbon cable here. What are these? Are these going to the that's bottom board? That's controllers. Let's pop it out. So that's the circuit board. So interesting things. Heat sink here. Yeah. Chip here. This is HDMI. Remember on the other one, it was a 3.5 millimeter. Yeah. Same uh, um, power. Micro USB, right? Yeah. So let's bring out the other circuit board. Big difference. Big difference. I, w I would, just considering this, mm -hmm because that's handled by separate components on here. But that versus that. Yeah. Huge difference. Huge difference. And especially like this has the U great UI, like can save the, uh, we didn't even try to, like I don't even think you there could no save, save a state. game. No save state on this guy. Yeah, so that's where all of this is going to. Um, and just better quality overall. And HDMI out. HDMI out, yeah. This is basically, I think it's maybe 640 by 480, I would guess is the resolution yeah. out. So much cheaper chip. Is that, do you see that? What is it? There's burn marks on the chip, on the board. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't expect them to be perfect. But it's not quite near a solder point. Yeah, he probably was drunk. Oh, Raspberry Pi, do you want to just show? Yes, I think. Um, a Raspberry Pi. So this is the fake NES. Fake NES. This is the NES Classic. This is the Raspberry Pi. So this is my Raspberry Pi. Um, I have a couple of them. I believe this one I set up RetroArch on to basically do similar operations to the uh, NES Classic. Um, run some old games on it, is main, NES, SNES, that type of thing. Okay, let's talk about retail. retail. That lady told me at the gas station it was on sale from like 75. Down to 50? Down to 50, $75. This you can find, but you can find this for about 25, yeah, $30 25. off of Amazon. This puppy at, was 79 when it came out? I think it was 60. 60? I believe it was 60, but you, if you could find it, it was 60. It was still hard to find. I think you could maybe be able to find some. I think third party, it's probably going for about 100 right now. And you can get a Raspberry Pi for what, 35? 25, 30? Yeah. This is a three plus. Plus an SD card. Yes. but. But I think I got this with the case, with the power supply, with an eight gig starter micro SD for about 40. Yeah, that's not bad. Yes. Definitely if you were if you were looking to way to play, not just NES games, but any yeah. pretty much pre Nintendo 64. Yes, and this is turning into a Raspberry Pi commercial, but just to show it off a little bit more, that's a Cat5e um, power over network, uh, power over ethernet port. You've got four USB ports. I'm not sure if any of these are USB 3. Yeah, the new fours have USB 3. This is HDMI, this is audio out. Um, and then you can see you have these expansion ports, and I believe there's one or two here as well. So you can put hats on top of this. Um, there's the USB for power. So people will put a separate circuit board on top of here that then has an out to um, you know either a display or to more USB ports, to a mm -hmm. camera, to all sorts of functionality that you can expand off this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, very three very interesting takes on the retro game. Market. Totally, and we've played them all. Oh, hello there. You've caught me practicing my reading. Boy, I sure wish I wasn't illiterate. Clearly you've enjoyed another Subpixel video. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, it lets us and it lets YouTube know that our content is worth watching. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to pretending.